So I've been doing a lot of barbecue sauce videos and you guys seem to enjoy those, but I haven't done very many meal prep videos lately. So I wanna show you what I've been eating day to day. So this next batch of meals is gonna be Chipotle steak, uh, vegetables. So they have that little like pepper onion medley. And then of course my celery. So one thing that you'll see me eat with all my solid food meals, I don't have it with my shake, is celery. There's a reason why I have four to six ounces roughly of celery with each meal. Uh, two main reasons. Number one is celery is extremely fibrous. So it's a lot of food for very little nutrient density in terms of uh, calories and, and carbohydrates, right? There's not a lot you can get out of celery, but it's very filling. And that's good because, you know, these GLP-1 memetics that are really popular right now, the Majernos and the Ozembics and things like that, that <clears throat> hormone that your gut makes to tell your brain that you're full, you can do the same thing naturally by just eating your vegetables first. I made a whole video on that actually that I'll link below. But long story short is you front load with your vegetables, your GI tract starts to stretch and that stretching then generates a signal to your brain that there's food in there and you don't need to be hungry anymore. So what I do is I front load all my solid food meals with celery first, uh, then the rest of my vegetables, then my meat and my little bit of indulgence, my protein bar or whatever. And by the time I get to my meat, five, six ounces of meat is looking like a whole lot of food. Whereas at the beginning of my meal, when I'm smelling the meat and the barbecue sauce, it looks like very little food, you know what I mean? So that's the first reason. The second reason that I eat celery with all my solid food meals is uh, celery is extremely efficacious, or rather the compounds in celery and celery seed are extremely efficacious in reducing blood pressure. Uh, I've seen as much as a 20 point drop in my blood pressure anecdotally uh, within roughly 72 hours of regularly eating two, three stalks of celery, two, three meals a day, uh, and many hundreds hundreds of other people that I've recommended this to have experienced similar effects. Um, and the combination of daily conditioning and eating celery has been an extremely potent deterrent against hypertension. Okay, so next, the actual meal portion. So typically what I like to do is I have, you know, my massive protein shake in the morning uh, you know, six to eight scoops, however much I can fit in the oversized shaker that I use uh, to kind of front load my protein requirements at the beginning of the day. Then uh, I typically do three meals. Uh, my shake, which is a meal in terms of its protein plus some quick digesting carbs. Uh, then my second meal is my lunch. My lunch is usually the smallest in terms of uh, both quantity of food and and calories, macros, uh, that I eat during the day. Really, it's only kind of like a bridge to make it to dinner so that I'm not fasting. And what I do as opposed to intermittent fasting and having like a feeding window is I just don't snack, which is another video that I made earlier in the channel. Link to that here. So by just not snacking and going a meaningful period of time, like three to six hours in between meals, I can get some of the benefits of intermittent fasting without any of the downsides. And then I still have my regular protein feedings and regular re-ups of a little bit of carbohydrates to kind of keep me going uh, evenly throughout the day. So that second meal is usually the smallest one. I typically do between no less than three and no more than five ounces of meat. And then half that in vegetables. So one to three ounces of vegetables uh, and then three to five ounces of meat. So it ends up being like, I think here 
uh, what I'm making today is I'm doing four in one. So I'm doing like an ounce of the pepper onion mix, four ounces of steak, and then five ounce packages of celery. And then for dinner, dinner is usually when I have my largest solid food meal. So for dinner, what I'm preparing here is uh, two to three ounces of the pepper onion mix, five ounces of steak, um, then my celery package, and for dessert and my little bit of extra indulgence, a Quest birthday cake uh, protein bar. So <clears throat> the last kind of piece is how much of this can I make with what I got? Well, basically what I order when I go to Chipotle is I order two separate bowls. And then in one bowl, I have them fill it with steak or carne asada if that's available. The most I managed to get in a bowl is eight scoops. And that's if they're being pretty generous with the scoops, which usually they are because it's an easy order for them, so it goes quick. I fit about eight scoops in one bowl. And then in the other bowl, because a little bit goes a long way and they're more generous with this since it's cheaper. Uh, I usually ask for six scoops of veggies and I usually get about eight to 10 scoops worth because like I said, it's cheap. So they're typically more generous with the veggies than they are with the steak. And that'll run me, depending on how they ring it up, like 20 something dollars for the combination. And with that combination, um, I can make three dinners and four lunches usually in the quantities I described. More or less depending because it's not an exact amount I get every time I go. Uh, but yeah, anywhere from, like I said, three, three dinners, two to three dinners and three to four lunches for 20 something dollars. Stand and fight.